So here we are actually showing the four projector blending, two by two, two projectors on the top and two at the bottom. So if I cover one of these projectors, you can see that you're missing one the part, and each projector basically warps and blends one part. The projectors themselves are on a keystone, so they're all misaligned. The geo chip or the W2 here is actually aligning them correctly, so doing the scaling and also uh, doing the edge blend. What's the resolution of the projectors? The projectors are 1920 1080, so 1080p. And we're also adjusting for um, black level. We have independent black level control for RG and B. And as you can see in this image here, where you actually have the dark region at the top, that is pretty good even in the dark. Here we are actually projecting onto a curved screen, an actual um, S-shaped curve. And the W2 is correcting for the curvature of the screen, projecting so that the image is completely inside and the image basically follows the curvature of the screen. Um, we have a pretty severe curve here. And it's, um, you know, in one case it's actually concave, the other side is convex. But yeah, as you can tell that the projector focus is still pretty good. Um, the curve itself is generated mathematically, so you could generate the warp map in several ways. Either you can, you know, compute the uh, correction mathematically, you can use a manual tool like the eWarp Pro, or you can use a camera-based calibration system to generate it. Well, basically, essentially, you can have any kind of curves.